Collie Amberley might have missed out on the Farrow League Minor Premiership, but they did have a mortgage on the Graincorp Player of the Year. Drew Kenner was out in front heading into the final round and only his teammate Dean Pound could take it off him. I caught up with the winner at Gumley Oval. Congratulations, Drew, on uh, being named the Farrow League's Graincorp Player of the Year. Won by five points from your teammate Dean Pound. Tell us what it means to you. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty happy to win it. I'm um, pretty lucky to win it too. Dean, Dean missed a lot of games this year, so I reckon if he would have got home for them games, I definitely would have got beat. But, yeah, no, it's definitely a good achievement. Obviously a great achievement for the team having the two players up so high in the standings. Uh, what did a bloke like Dean bring to the uh, to the team and why do you like playing with him? Oh, Dean's unbelievable. Even his efforts today in a losing side, like he could have easy, easy been best on ground today. Just his, um, his ruck work and he's working forward and working back. He's just like another midfielder the way he runs and how dedicated he is. Obviously the result uh, didn't go your way today, but it's been a great year for the Blues. Uh, what have you enjoyed most about your footy personally? Oh, just the boys, it's just, just a great bunch of boys, probably one of the better bunch of boys I've played with for the year. Everyone around the club, they're great people. I've, I've really enjoyed my time out there. They've welcomed me into the club like I'm one, one of them, and yeah, I've really enjoyed that. Did you have any personal goals to start the season? Oh, not really any personal goals. Obviously wanted to play finals and, and just do my part, and I've, I think I've done that, and hopefully do that in the future in the finals. It sounds like it has been a, a fun year, an enjoyable year. How does it rate for you in terms of enjoyment? Um, yeah, it's probably one of my second best years so far, but all depending what happens in the finals. Um, it, it's been fantastic, both on the, on the field and off the field. Like The club functions have been unbelievable. Um, I won a premiership with Narendra, so so far it's probably been my best year, but this year, so far, it's ticking along very well. I'm very happy with it. Mitch Carroll has the team humming along nicely. How has it been playing under him this year? Oh, yeah, great. Mitch is a great coach, and he does anything for the team, and he's, he's easy to approach about any, any sort of issues or any matters, and yeah, I've really enjoyed playing under Mitch. What's been a key to such a big improvement for the side? I think just a couple of key players like Dean Pound. He's, he's, he's been unbelievable all year. Um, a couple of midfielders been thrown in there too and a couple of solid backmen, Cabe Stockton, Fred Steffen. You know, it's, it's all they really needed. They weren't far away last year. Like I've been told they didn't get beat by much against Tamora a couple of times. They just needed a, a few uh, um, deeper players, I think. A couple of names you've mentioned there. Who's impressed you most of your teammates this year? Oh, definitely Dean Pound. He's great to play for. He's made me look good week in, week out, tapping them down my throat. So, definitely, Dean. Anyone you'd like to thank or pay tribute to for winning the Graincorp Player of the Year award? Uh, Dean for not coming home every weekend. Um, obviously, Graincorp and all the coaches that voted for me. Yeah, that's it. And heading into the finals, obviously a tough game here against East Wagga, but who of the uh, the five top sides would you rate the toughest to beat and why? Yeah, I thought East Wagga was very impressive today, just the way they, they spread and ran all day. Um, East Wagga and tomorrow would have to be the benchmark, I'd say. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do. Mate, uh, congratulations on winning Player of the Year and good luck in the finals. Thank you very much.